when you're starting to generate images in Midjourney, you will likely do that in one of the public channels of Midjourney. So what are we seeing here? Well, all the images generated by all the users that are active in this channel. This is of course very confusing and annoying because you're always in this feed seeing new images generated every second and it's difficult to find your own creations. The first thing you should do is creating your own private server on Discord. Doing this is very easy. You click on add a server, then on create my own, next for me and my friends. And now we give it a name. Let's uh, say Midjourney test server. And now we click on create. You could also add an image here. We don't do it now. And uh, yeah, we have our server. And if you want to search for your server, you see it in this left sidebar where you have the list of all the servers you are active in or you have created. Good, this was the first step. We have our test server, but at the moment we cannot create images for Midjourney here because we need first to invite the Midjourney bot. How can we do that? Well, we have to go back to the Midjourney channel and here we are searching for the Midjourney bot. So we are already in one of the channels. That's important, you have to go to the channels and then in the user list on the right side, you see all the users and there is the Midjourney bot. So let's click on the Midjourney bot or oh, wait maybe one second for clarification. You have to be in one of the public channels. So one of the channels from channel one, two, three, four till channel 20. So in the user list of those channels, you see the Midjourney bot, you add it to server. Then yeah, you select the server here, the Midjourney test server we've created before. We confirm and yeah, that can be checked. And now we authorize it. And now we need to confirm that we are humans and not robots. Today that's not so easy. And oh, that capture, what do we need to do? Ah, we need to select bicycles. <laughs> Let's see if I can do that correctly and check it. Yeah, we are confirmed to be humans. Now we can return to the Midjourney test server and we see here the Midjourney bot was invited successfully. Let's test this with a prompt. Imagine the prompt. I want to have a picture of a Midjourney bot. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's starting to work. And that's it. So we have our private Midjourney Discord channel and we are the only user, but of course you could invite other users as well if you want. But there's still one privacy issue because when the Midjourney bot has finished generating this image, the image will be shared to the public Midjourney gallery. Of course, there's some cases where you don't want this to happen you could go to the settings. So let's enter settings. And when we enter it, we have the option stealth mode. In this mode, the images are not shared publicly. Let's do that. Let's activate the stealth mode. Oh, what's happening? The stealth mode is not included in my plan. So why is that the case? Well, I have the standard plan, but not the pro plan. And I would need to upgrade to the $60 per month pro plan to have the self mode. We see in Midjourney privacy is a matter of money. Is it worth it? Well, it depends on you. But if you don't want to pay the money, there's still an option you have. Because you could delete images again. You do that by adding a reaction and you click on X or you type in the X in the bar. And when you do that, the image is deleted immediately. And if you want to keep the image, you can always download it to your computer before you delete it from Midjourney. This way you can make sure that you're the only one with access to the image because when you delete the image from Discord, it will be deleted from the gallery as well. This is one option for privacy. 
in mid journey without paying 60 bucks per month. I hope this was helpful for you. And the biggest takeaway of this video is how to use mid journey in your private discord server. That is one thing you should do immediately if you haven't done it yet, because using mid journey in one of the public channels is really annoying and it's not fun using mid journey this way. So if you haven't done it yet, do it now.